You know, Karen was um, a very unusual personality, but you have to be to start something and to start something that's different from what anybody else has produced and to have the courage to make it happen and to stick through it no matter how ugly it gets. You know, board, staff, money, no money, building problems, the city, I mean it, I mean she was with it for 30 years. I mean put your hat on and get a grip as to what that takes and you know it can make you crazy. It can make you nuts. You will go nuts sometimes and then come back to your senses. But Karen just, no matter what, she just stuck with it because she really believed in the beauty of the work. She believed in the beauty of the people. She believed in the value of the image and the message more than anyone I've ever known. And uh, some of the stories of the things that she had to put up with are just phenomenal. Can you give me an example? Well, the, the funding crunches that she went mm -hmm. through. The funding crunch is just to, just to mention it. I mean, there were some months when there wasn't anything. You know, Sister Karen was, at the time when I was there, her, her, um, her, um, she had room and board, or she had room. And then her, the convent gave her $35 a month. That's what she had. Sister Karen didn't have money to buy clothes. All she had was money to buy her cigarettes and to work, nonstop, just to work. And and she was learning as she went, this was all like a whole new avenue. That's when the California Arts Council was alive and kicking. She sent me to the California Arts Council. I became a reader for grants. You know, I was, I was involved with very high level opportunities because Sister Karen was just kind of like, you can do this. You go ahead and you do this. And I know that drove a lot of people crazy because you're kind of like, oh my God, you, you want me to do it? I don't know what I'm doing. And the learning curve was really, really high. But you have to really stick with the vision and Sister Karen had a really strong vision and she had a lot of courage, an enormous amount of courage and dedication.